Welcome to the Divine Living Talk Show. I'm your host, Gina DeVee, and this is your spiritual segment where you get your weekly dose of spiritual connection. You are 10 minutes away from feeling grounded, transformed, connected, and on track for your life. So shut off any devices, grab a green juice or your coffee, and let's get started. Welcome to the Divine Living Talk Show. I'm your host, Gina DeVee, and today we're talking about your own personal relationship with God. Now, I'm pretty sure that you're pretty much like me, where you have all of the modern day temptations to wake up and think about everything that needs to be done, everything that you need to accomplish, and it's gotten into this mentality of like just getting through the day and just trying to get everything done. And on a good day, you're feeling really productive and you're getting a lot done, but still that focus is all about getting a bunch of stuff done. And on a bad day, you're like in fear that the money's not gonna come in or the soulmate will never show up or no one is ever gonna buy your stuff or your business is gonna fail. And wobbling in between these two bookends is so far from an epic life, the amazing life that you're meant for. And yet this is, this is normal, but you're not normal. So what's the antidote? What's the cure? What's the, how do we get out of this? It's called having your own personal relationship with God and not just doing it as often as I go to yoga, which is like a biannual yoga class that I hit. And it shows, right? Like I don't have the flexibility of someone who goes to yoga every day. And when you spend time with God every single day, I didn't say go on a seven day silent meditation retreat every day. I said, just spend some time with God every day. It's like spending time with a person every day. You get to know that person more. You typically, when you spend more and more time with someone, you fall in love with them even more. And even if you're not necessarily liking what's going on, you understand them more. And so the opportunity that we women have to spend even five to 10 minutes of time with God every single day, that is our opportunity. And to the degree that we miss out on that, that we don't make it a priority and create it as a non-negotiable in our life, means we're the ones missing out, means we are missing out on the miracles of this amazing life, means that we're sitting there flipping through Instagram, watching the women who are just soaring and living their big life in their dream, because chances are they've got such a connection with God and the universe. I'm not making anyone more spiritual or more special than you. I'm saying you just know when someone is dialed in and tuned in and going from miracle to miracle. And I know that's what you want and that's absolutely what you're capable of. However, for us to create something different in our lives, we need to be different women. You know, and what we as women need to do is drop the drama about I don't have time or it doesn't really work or I tried it and it didn't work for me. Do it until you have created a relationship with God that you love, that you're proud of. You know, I also really liken this to working out. It is such a boring conversation, and there's no one that knows this more than me, about the drama about not working out. Has anyone ever gone and worked out even for 20 minutes and said, you know, I really wish I didn't do that? Said no one ever, right? It always feels amazing once you've gone and you've gotten a little bit of sweat on, and it doesn't have to be that hard. What is hard is starting. What's hard is like sludging through the, the drama of what we think that we need to do that's gonna take so much time and be so difficult. So, God is not this dramatic in a drama kind of way. God is very dramatic in an epic kind of way. So I promise you that if you create a space for yourself, and you start from this place of a non-negotiable, that you are not available to live a normal life, that you are only available for epic, that you are only committed to thriving, and you're not gonna do it in an overly masculine way that has you working 18 hours a day and blowing out your adrenals. That's not gonna get you an epic life anyways. The epic life, 
comes from source. The divine guidance and inspiration comes from living in the realm of the miraculous. And to live in the realm of the miraculous, you got to at least give it 10 minutes a day, even five when you get really good, probably. So you developing your own relationship with God, it's going to be what it needs to be for you. You know, I grew up in a pretty conservative Christian community, which on many levels I'm grateful for because it taught me how to have a relationship with God from a very young age. And there were many things about that journey that I have needed to undo so that I can genuinely have a personal relationship with God that doesn't have me feeling punished or condemned or in fear or straight up not interested. And this is the response ability that you have to develop your own level of spirituality, your own sense of union with God in the universe. And here's what I know for sure, that you can create this so that you know that you know that you know that your God, spirit, source, angels are speaking to you. And it's not necessarily gonna look like the relationship that I have with God in the universe. The important point is, is that you create this relationship that is not something that you dabble with. Because if you dabble with it, you're going to have an experience of epicness dabbling in your life. What you want is a consistent flow of, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Did you see this email that came in? This opportunity just floated in. I'm going here. I'm going there. Like This level of abundance and you living your purpose and thriving can come every single day when you have this personal connection to God in a way that fits and is right for you. And I'm not going to be overly complicated about this because it's just not that complicated. Spending 10 minutes of time and you get to pick how. For me, I'll journal, I'll meditate, um, you could go for a walk if that's what suits you, but it's just 10 minutes of maybe you want to read something. 10 minutes of consciously sitting down and being like, what up, dude? What are we doing today? What you got for me? What do you want from me? And like, just have a free flowing conversation. You know, when things are more intense or you're triggered about something, that's when you get to ask for advice. Be like, how can I create a solution here? How can I do it differently? Or if you're not triggered about something, but you've just got these dreams that aren't manifested yet, it's like, how could this happen? Like, if you have this idea, it matters and it's meant to be fulfilled. But right now you have no idea how you're going to accomplish getting on the today's show, landing that speaking gig, having uh, time to go to Bali, like whatever those dreams are. But God has the answer. God has the solution. And God's the one to put the desire in your heart in the first place. So of course it's meant to come through to manifestation. What you'll have to do in the process of getting to know God is getting all of the things that you have been taught that God is not. There's a lot of undoing because so many people and societies and institutions have told us what is right and what is wrong and what is spiritual and what is religious and the way it works. You don't need anyone other than source to connect with you and guide you about how you and your soul's journey is meant to work. And at the same time, you don't get to be oblivious. You don't get to check out. You don't get to not do it every day and still get the guidance. So I'm not creating some sort of militant regime here. I'm creating a daily opportunity for you to get unlimited wisdom, unlimited guidance, and set yourself up for thriving success. Every single day, every single moment of the day, we have this opportunity, and yet how much do we actually use it? I know that you know this stuff. This is now about going beyond knowing. This is going into creating the relationship. Being the woman who has such a divine connection and a personal relationship with God that your life looks like it. It looks like you've got God in the universe on speed dial because you're not floundering, you're not depressed, you're not unclear, you're not lost, you're not in some kind of chronic struggle again over the same guy issue, over the same money issue, over the same health issue. 
you are moving through and people are noticing, they're looking, they're like, man, she's no longer struggling in this area. Man, she's like not just talking about writing her book. She just went and published a book. Wow, look what she's doing now. And it's not about a look what she's doing now as much as that is you living your life by example. It is you being an inspiration and having a whole lot of fun in the process. This is what just 10 minutes a day will do. When you spend that 10 minutes a day with God, it helps you set yourself up to be the queen in your life, to speak the truth in love. So you don't go and say all that stupid shit, then you then have to spend two weeks or two years cleaning up. You know, mistakes are expensive in both time and money. And I'm not saying that to like get you in some sort of straitjacket to make you think that you have to do everything perfect. I'm just here to say that when each of us are aligned with our personal relationship with God, we don't make the silly mistakes. We get the lessons, we have the human experience, but it goes so much better and so much more peacefully with so much more fun, a lot higher level of productivity, and the manifestation is the result. So I know that you have started your business and I know that you're watching this episode because you have big dreams for your life. And I'm here to say that there is no one or anything that is going to support you more in creating the manifestation of them than you developing your personal relationship with God. So today I would like to leave you with set yourself up for the ultimate success and commit to the 10 minutes a day. I highly recommend doing it in the morning. Get up before everyone else in your household. Get up 10 minutes early. Have that 10 minutes of that blissful, fresh morning time where it's just you and God exploring your relationship. And like every relationship, let it have its own personality. This has been helpful for you. Please share it with a friend. There can't be too many women who have their own personal relationship with God. I would love to hear what your comments or questions are. Please leave a comment or ask a question. If you are wondering how you're gonna be connecting with God, uh, if you've got great tips on how you have, please let's get the conversation going and leave a comment.